Member for Shuswap. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to inform the House to mark your calendars as June 6th to the 13th is Spinal CSF Awareness Week in North America. Now, cerebral spinal fluid, or CSF, truly is the fluid of life. And the daily functions of our brains and nervous systems wouldn't be possible without it. A spinal CSF leak, also known as spontaneous intracranial hypotension, is a debilitating condition that many British Columbians and Canadians may face in their lifetime. Even the former member for Parksville Qualicum, Michelle Stilwell, struggled with it for many years. A leak occurs when the CSF escapes via a tear or abnormality in the dura mater, the tissue that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord. This can be, can cause, be caused by head injuries, brain or sinus surgery, lumbar punctures, and a variety of other circumstances. Now, the most common symptoms of a CSF leak are headaches, usually in the back of the head. However, other symptoms can include neck or shoulder pain, dizziness, changes in vision or hearing, and brain fog, to name a few. Because of this, CSF leaks can go undiagnosed for weeks, months, even years. While data shows that there are approximately 2,000 Canadians struggling today, it is believed the real number could be more than double that. If left unchecked, CFF leaks can be life-threatening and lead to serious long-term health risks, including meningitis, brain infections, or stroke. Now, the best way to protect Canadians is to increase awareness to help lead to more early diagnosis. Although some CSF leaks may heal on their own, others require surgical repair. Now, I encourage all members to wear purple and to tweet and share the facts on social media. Together, let's raise awareness of CSF leaks and help more Canadians live long and help healthy lives.